can see all the holes, something really likes to eat it. But it's washed up, it's no longer growing, and it's starting to actually fade. And I love how they eat, because they eat so bizarrely. Mm -hmm. They stick their stomachs outside their body, it's called oh, imagination. Yes. But, Wrap oh, yeah. it around their food, so they're literally digesting their food as they pull it inside of them. So it's like a plastic bag, inside out. Wrap it around, pull it back inside. Buy an oyster shell until all of a sudden the salt water got in my finger. Mm -hmm. And I go, oh, that stings! And then you have bread running down your finger, and you're going, when did I do that? Literally just pressing on them, they're like razor blades, you can get cut by the different um, ones. Because this is actually growing here. This is velvet um, weed, okay? So we, it's a type of seaweed and it's attached. It's definitely growing. This is attached, so this sea lettuce, and there's actually another type of seaweed as well underneath it. I'm not real sure what kind of... Uh, the very fuzzy types of um, sea lettuce, another type of seaweed underneath there. So we try to get the kids to go through and actually take a look at the lovely stuff that's actually here. As you can see, sea lettuce really doesn't hang on very well, so it gets washed away quite easily. And there's heaps of oysters. This one's home, it's got its top cover there. That one's not, just like that one's not, it doesn't have that top cover. But the students always miss as well our lovely tube worms, sometimes called spiny worms. This one, because it's got that lovely point, I know it's home. Not to mention, oh yeah, we got some lovely little um, black top snails. Now I do get the children to pick up the snail because about the only way you can tell when they're this little what kind of snail you have is if you look at the doorway or the operculum. This one's flat, looks like a piece of plastic, kind of greeny brown, then I know it's in the black top snail family. If it bumps up and is green and white, anyone know the name of that snail? Cat's eyes, yes. But when they're little like this, they look a lot alike. So kids know cat's eyes, so they go, oh, it's a cat's eye, cat's eye. No, 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 you've got to look at it before you can identify it that way. So there's heaps of lovely things here. Here's actually the top part of that oyster shell, and you can have a feel of it, and you can see why it would cut your fingers quite easily. And we have a bit lovely baby limpet growing on that as well. So we try to get the kids to think about if they're putting shells in their pockets and taking them home, there might be a little life on there hanging on to it that they didn't notice. So this is what we're worried about with the oysters. You can just feel that edge. It's quite sharp like a razor blade. And then what we get the children to do is just carefully lift up the rock. Oh yeah, good stuff. You never know. Oh, there's lots of good stuff. Cool. Oh yeah. Sorry, I get excited. <laughs> Okay, first of all, we have a lovely, because it's a very good low tide. Most low tides I come down, it stops about here. This one, Look how far out, and this is a spiny sea star. Very, very cool. Now, if you notice, its arms are not the same length. Sea stars are pretty amazing. As long as that central disc isn't damaged too much, if something has eaten this away or it's broken off, they can regrow them. So, yeah. those are fish eggs. And this is from the triple fin. And until they hatch, and you can see they're quite teeny tiny, um, he'll guard them. He'll keep other fish and other things away. So most people, when they find this little teeny fish in the pool, they go, ah, oh, it should be in the water out there. And they pick it up and put it back. It's like, no, oh, oh. dad was guarding the eggs there. He really wanted to be there. So what a gorgeous daddy triple fin will let him do his job. He's guarding his lovely eggs. And we try to get the kids to put the things back the way they were because, oh, that's the animals. They wanted them. Oh, once again, cockle with nothing inside of it. Now I have to show you one of my favorite creatures. Let's see if I can pick this up actually. Because people miss it all the time without cutting my fingers on the lovely <laughs> oyster shells. Now you can see it looks like an oval with mm. plates. Does anyone know what that mm. trident is? Yeah, it's a chitin. Mm. Chitin, I know it looks like chitin, but yeah, it's, they pronounce it chitin. Here's another one there as mm. well. Now I absolutely adore chitons because most people miss them. This is a green one. We have there's snakes in, there's bristles, there's a whole bunch of different types. We can take out and the teeth will go up and stick to a magnet. It's called a radula. It looks a bit like a zip because it works in kind of like a, a almost like an escalator type fashion where they can go through the algae. So what a cool creature. Yeah, and when they get to, if we had a really good um, microscope, if they were far enough along, we'd actually be able to see little eyes mm -hmm. and the little baby fish curled up in the egg, because, as you can see, they're quite small. <laughs> when they would actually hatch on out. So yeah, you don't want to push down on them real high, but you can just give them a very yes. gentle because they have to take waves. They have to take animals crawling over the top of them. 
Those are fish eggs. I see. Okay. Yeah. Tons everybody misses as well. This is actually a little teeny living animal. It's a horn snail, and that's all the bigger it gets. You ought to see the babies. <laughs> and once again, they're alive, and we're trying to get the students to pay attention to them because they're just as important as the big old fish. So here we have a lovely pillbox crab. He's telling me to back off with his legs up like that. Look how big I am. You really don't want to deal with me. But it, there we go. I'm going to say, where's his lovely nippers and everything? There it is. Is that an adult? Yeah. Yeah. That's an adult one. Yeah. Most of the crabs we have on this rocky shore, uh, maybe four or five inch centimeters. It's about as big as they'll get. Quite fun. You never know what you're going to find when you come down here until you're actually here. Oh, and we have some little, lovely little zooplankton caught got left in. This is some of our lovely crow that actually, you can see that transparent little thing that looks like a shrimp on the end of my finger. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that got washed in and unfortunately he's got to wait till the tide comes back in. <laughs> the colony and oh you found a cushion oh. sea star! Now this sea star eats the same way sticking its stomach out but yeah. it's not a predator. It's going to go after decaying, oh, decomposing oh, okay. stuff. So very, very cool little thing. Did you find a crab? Much for itself so that literally I can sit and go like that with my fingernail. It's not coming off. <laughs> if this would start growing in our tanks in the aquarium, you literally have to grind it out or you can't get rid of it. Now this is a type of coralline seaweed as well. It's a bit hard when you touch it, but it's an erect time so it grows up rather than growing out. So yeah, we don't like coralline algae. Very lovely stuff, but a pain when you have to scrub tanks. <laughs> Another lovely triple fin. And look at, and look at all the eggs. Yeah. No, uh, no, that's a different type of egg. Oh, yeah. I want to say it's a limpet egg, because I've seen those every now and then. So this is a type of limpet egg here. But okay. you can see all the little Pretty bubbles here. That's the daddy triple fin guarding those eggs. Now where's oh, these are the eggs? Where's yeah, the eggs? Yeah, they're small. Yeah, okay. Little teeny, teeny, little teeny tiny, tiny ones. But yeah, these are a type. We've, I've actually looked at those underneath the microscope because I didn't know what they were. And I finally got a professor to tell me they were limpet eggs. Ah, they're very pretty. They're very lovely, aren't they?